Hey everybody, GeoWarm Security here, and today we're going to show you how to program the Qualsys QS-1310-P01, also known as the Qualsys IQ key fob, into the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 wireless security system. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is remove the key fob from its packaging. Keep the box in resellable condition as well as all the other parts in case you ever need to return it. And you can put all that to the side. And now you have your uh, IQ key fob handy. So this process is very easy. I'm going to show you how to get through it. Uh, so you want to go to the home screen, either slide down or just push right there. Select settings advanced settings you can enter in either the dealer code which by default is 2222 or the installer code 1111 either will get you uh, where you want to go uh, just for this uh, purpose I'll go ahead and enter 1111 select installation devices security sensors and then uh, you can do the same thing as just about all other sensors. You can either auto learn it, which I typically like to do, it's a little bit quicker, or you can add the sensor uh, DLID, which is right there. You'll see DL, and then there's the ID. Uh, so it's usually six digits. Uh, so I'll just select auto learn. And then all you need to do on this key fob is just hold down the unlock and the lock key. Boom, there you go. You'll see the DLID is automatically learned in. Select OK. And now, of course, this is not a door or window contact. This is a key fob, so we'll just take it box by box, uh, and that it'll be a very simple process. Uh, Qualsys has done a phenomenal job uh, with the development of this panel using this, the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor in conjunction with the Android 5 Plus software. So this thing is very similar to using a smartphone, it's that easy. Uh, so sensor type, simply select key fob. Sensor name, you can keep it as key fob uh, or you can uh, create a custom description if you have multiple key fobs so that you can, uh, um, so you can tell whose key fob is whose in the event you need to deactivate it or for whatever reason. Chime type, you really don't need one. Uh, mobile intrusion is the most common. Uh, you can decide if it's going to be fixed, you can leave it there. Uh, any of these should work. I just keep it simple and use mobile intrusion. Voice prompts, you can keep on. Security RF, this is a non-encrypted uh, sensor. So this is the older key fob that was originally developed for the old IQ panel. Um, the reason why we're showing you how to program the old sensor into the new panel is in case you decided to make the upgrade and you need to transfer the sensors into the new IQ panel too. So now, very simply, select Add it's New. You can select Home, where you can go ahead and uh, press the lock button, which will arm stay the system. You can hit the unlock button to disarm it. All right, now you may be wondering, hey, none of these buttons, these buttons don't work. So just to give you a little explanation, um, you know, going a little bit further into detail, this light button uh, does not work. It does, uh, I'll, I know you'll see the red light as if it does look like it's sending a signal, but it's not with either the IQ panel or the IQ panel 2. This button does not work uh, to sum it up. Now you also may be wondering, how about the star button? You know, usually key fobs uh, have a panic button on it. So if you're pushing that and it's not working, uh, don't worry. This serves as an auxiliary button. So as you notice, when I press this bottom lock button, that basically arms stay the system. If you wanted to leave the house and you plan on leaving, wanting to activate your motions, you would simply just hit these at the same time, which will arm the system away. You can disarm. Now you may be wondering, well that's that's bizarre, this doesn't have a panic feature. Well it actually does. All you do is simply hold the unlock and the lock button at the same time. And that's a little trick of the trade there. Uh, we just wanted to go a little bit more in depth to uh, you know, show you the uh, functionality of this key fob. And that's how you program the Qualsys QS-1310-P01 or Qualsys IQ key fob into the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 wireless security system. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page.